Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. We reported earlier this month that Omaha City Council member is pushing for a raise in the mayor's salary. Tonight, reporter Kent Lutzen caught up with Mayor Jean Stather to see how she feels about her own and any future leader's annual income. When Mayor Jean Stother first took office in 2013, she reduced her own pay by 10% and froze it for four years, meaning no raise for her first term. She says she did this to rein in the budget. Um, the 2013 budget, when I was first elected, was supposed to be over 13 million short by the end of the year. I thought I was going to have to make some very tough decisions and I wanted to show people that I was part of those tough decisions. Now in her second four year term, the conversation has shifted towards a salary increase. This year, the mayor saw her first pay raise to $104,358 with a 3% increase every year for cost of living. However, on top of that, the city council is thinking about an additional increase. Mayor Stothert says this extra raise might not even impact her. What is on the city council agenda coming up for city council and mayor salary isn't necessarily for me. I hope it's for me, um, but I, you know, it's for whoever is mayor in 2021 on. She would need to win re-election to receive the pay increase. She also stresses she did not talk to, nor did she ask the city council to do a study into salary wages for mayors in comparable cities. Do I think I'm compensated well enough? I do. Um, I don't do this for the money. It's public service for me. Another reason Omaha's council members are hoping to increase the mayor's salary is the pay gap between men and women. Stothart says although she chose to lower her pay in 2013, she does not want to send the message that women do not deserve to be paid the same as men. In Omaha, Kent Lutzen, 3 News Now. Under the current city council proposal, a 3% increase would go through 2026, ending at a nearly $125,000 annual salary for any future mayor. The next city council meeting is tomorrow in the legislative chambers at 2 p.m. 